Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Ride Share Stories. And Dustin from Dustin is Driving. What's going on? So today we're going to be talking about how Uber has updated its sick pay policies yet again. But there's a catch. They're only doing it in California because of a lawsuit where they're settling out. So uh, Dustin and I are going to share our thoughts and opinions on this after an article uh, just to kind of put it in perspective and to show you guys exactly what is going on. So Dustin, what do you think about that right off the bat? Right off the bat, I think that is some BS and deserves a smack of bitch. <laughs> Simple fact of why is California always got something going on that the rest of the nation can't get a piece of? For the simple fact of everybody else out there still needs their sick pay. You know what I'm saying? Like, how are they going to keep redirecting everything and changing it up on everyone? What, just because California has the AB5? That's the only reason I could think of that the rest of us don't get it. Mm hmm. All right, so I'm going to put the uh, article on right now so we can kind of talk about that um, and so you can see it on your side. So it says, yeah, it's expanding driver's sick pay by a little bit after being sued. And yes, <laughs> by a little change, bit, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and look at this right here. The changes are for California drivers only. They made sure they put that out there. Yeah, uh, it's pretty crazy. So yeah, it says uh, Uber's sick, or I'm sorry, Uber's paid leave policy for drivers with COVID-19 symptoms have been involving process. And I've talked about it a couple of times on my channel. I know you've talked about it a couple of times as well. Um, and they're saying after going through several iterations over the past two months, the ride hail company said th uh, Thursday, it's adding additional finance support for California drivers and California drivers only. Um, so <laughs> what happened was it's a move that uh, after Uber was sued by drivers for allegedly failing to provide adequate sick leave during the novel coronavirus pandemic, Uber and the drivers came to a resolution in the lawsuit, which was first reported by Bloomberg and confirmed by CNET. Uh, so the, what the changes is, which I think this is absolutely abysmal but they say the company agreed to pay six three hundred and sixty dollars which is calculated as eight or as three eight hour work days at 15 an hour to all drivers who have been diagnosed with COVID-19 had symptoms of the disease or believe they were exposed to the virus uber is also offering the financial assistance to drivers with pre-existing health conditions that make them susceptible to it including being over the age of 60. So I don't know. Did you do a video how they changed and what they capped it at? Um, no, I didn't because it just seemed like there was always some kind of issue and something was changing every other day that I, I, I didn't even was, wasn't even able to keep up with it all. But mm -hmm. I do know that a lot of drivers were complaining, saying that they were, had been quarantined. They got their doctor's note and everything else, did everything they were supposed to do. They notify Uber, get deactivated and then don't get any help at, at the same time while they're waiting. So I just knew it was a big headache if this happened to you to have to even go through with this and try to get the sick pay money. That's why I thought it was insane that they were still allowing trips to and from the uh, hospitals. Mm -hmm. No, I just put up on this, this is from Uber blog and this is the uh, announcement that they did on April 10th in terms of how they updated sick pay. So what they did was, they changed the policy um, from how they're going to calculate. They're going to look at the average weekly earnings over the three months prior to your application for assistance. And what they're going to do is also give a maximum amount of payment uh, versus what it used to be before. So it was based on what the driver actually drove for that 14 days. Then they changed it to put a cap on it. And this is what the cap is from Los Angeles, California, which the cap says it's $459. But if you look at what it, they agreeing to now, it says it's paying $360 and it's calculated for three eight hour workdays at 15 an hour to any driver di di diagnosed with it, symptoms of it, uh, or whoever's claiming the sick pay. So, that sounds like it's a pay cut yet again. I thought they said that it was supposed to be a little bit more. I know, right? Yeah, the, you know how Uber does, man. They say one thing, do another, and then wonder why drivers are so confused and pissed off. Like, yo, what's going on here? Like you said, it just said 360 there, but it had, what, 468 on the other one. 
what, what the heck's going on here? Do they know how much they're paying anybody? <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, it, whatever it is, that's insane. And, um, you know, it, it's kind of crazy how California gets these special perks because of the whole thing with AB5. And we talked about it in a video previously that you and I did uh, together where we're talking about if drivers are independent contractors or employees and you know they're trying to do everything they can to get away from being employees or having employees so they're trying to give drivers certain benefits like seeing the drop off of where they're going the uh, about how long they're going to get the price that they're going to get for that ride uh, they're taking away like the acceptance rate they take away um you know, certain things like that. They even have the ability to um, set their own prices. I don't know if they're still doing that or not because I know it was a trial test. Um, but this is pretty crazy though, again, where they're, they're changing it again on top of it because of a lawsuit. And I'm not sure how that um, helps some drivers and it really hurts some drivers, especially those that are full time out there. Oh yeah, I totally agree. And, and it's another thing too, that this is, this is the same thing that pisses drivers off everywhere else in the nation. The simple fact of California gets its own set of rules and you know, they're, they're pretty much like their own beast and they'll do so many different changes for them and not for everybody else. Now, when it comes to actually, I guess, collecting the sick pay, the whole rest of the nation could actually be happy because their sick pay is not being dropped if they're able to even get it to begin with, but at least it's not being dropped. So they can well, be happy on this aspect. Well, it's, it's, it's being dropped in terms of the fact that there's a max payout. So um, I, I just pulled it up real quick again. And like, so Columbus, Ohio, the maximum payout per person would be $244. Rio Grande Valley, Texas would be $136. And oh, this so they're is- They're dropping it everywhere else too then. Yeah, so it's, it's a max payout that you can receive. So if you are a driver who's working 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 hours like some drivers are and normally bringing home anywhere from 1000 to $2,500 a week, you know, now they're capping you. And if you're in Rio Grande Valley, Texas, you're getting $136 and that's supposed to account for two weeks. That's not supposed to be something that is per day or anything like that. No, that's for the two weeks. Here you go. Have have one hundred and thirty six dollars. Okay, well, I misspoke. That definitely means you're getting a great cut. We're all screwed. That's what yeah. we're telling everybody. Have those backup plans. Uh, if you don't even have to go out there to get sick, you know, do something else because you cannot rely on these companies to take care of you when you know stuff hits the fan. When mm-hmm. when it all goes to chaotic, they finally showed you know their true colors on how they really are and how expendable we are. They don't care unless you're taking them to court and trying to, you know, file lawsuits against them. If they're looking bad in the public, then everything's just a big PR stunt to try to, okay, fine. We're going to try to give you what you want, but uh, we're we're saying it's only going to be this amount instead of this amount. And then when we say it's this amount, it's really this amount. (laughs) Yeah, right. Let's let's play a game. We're going to go deep. deep, deep. Let's see how fast we can get down to the bottom. Yeah, as soon as it'll just be like their stock. It's going to go, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. Now, I don't know where you're getting your st- st- statistics. <laughs> no, it's, it, either way, it's pretty crazy when it comes down to it because that is bewildering because they say $360 per person in California and it's a raise. But yeah, LA, the max payout is $450, which... I don't know who did math, but to me, that's that's less. <laughs> that's like that's common a lot core less. math for you. That common core math got people messed up, man. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But what? Yeah, it, I don't know. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, over uh, time and time again, especially during this pandemic, they really sh- truly showed their colors, which we all knew they were snake in the grass, ready to bite and attack pretty much anything however they could to get the most profit for them and say screw it to the drivers and this just goes to show you that they were paying out before pretty decent but they weren't a lot really letting it pay out then they changed it and put caps on it so it's like oh you made more than that well we're going to cap you now anyway so we can claim more drivers can get it and then they have this lawsuit that happened where they settle and say, yeah, well, you know, we'll give you a little bit more. So it's based on, on a $15 minimum wage for three eight-hour workdays. 
Sounds legit. That sounds yeah. about right. So, <laughs> hey, let me ask you, did you get your personal safety equipment from them yet? Whether it be a face mask or a couple face masks or um, hand sanitizer or sanitizing wipes or anything like that? That's a negative ghost rider. I have received nada, nam, nada. Nothing at all whatsoever. And honestly, I don't ever expect to. Even though I am, I am in the number two state of the most reported cases, you're in the number one state of the most re in reported cases, and neither of us have received Jack Diddley squat. No, and I've seen a couple articles, I think it was a few days ago, that were talking about how drivers in New York City itself still haven't seen the personal protection equipment that Uber has guaranteed that you can get by sending out thousands or tens of millions of face masks and coverings and also disinfectant spray and wipes that were supposed to go to the hubs, but they shut them down. So Yeah, they said they shipped them out of what, like in April? in april or whatever and we're in may now and nobody still got anything i know the mail might be slow but it ain't that damn slow okay no definitely not but yeah it, it, you know I, I might make a video of all the things that they've said that they failed at but uh yeah that's it's it's pretty crazy nonetheless so um yeah i'm glad that we got together and talked about this because i i don't know i don't understand how being in LA and you were getting $459 at a max payout. Now it's down to 360. I mean, for those part-time drivers out there, if you were taking a couple of rides and now you're getting 360, even though you may have gotten $25 or something because you don't drive too often, well then maybe that's an increase and maybe that's good for the part-time drivers who wouldn't have made that. But for your full-time drivers out there, who, yeah, like I said, are making, you know, $1,000 up to maybe $2,500 a week. That's a slap in the freaking face. Oh, I totally agree. And yeah, it seems like right now they're screwing all the part or the full-time drivers. So maybe if everything does come back, a lot of those drivers probably won't be full-time anymore when they do come back, if they do come back and making all the part-time drivers that only did this, like you said, a little bit, actually kind of making out more if, they actually, in fact, made less than, you know, whatever they're going to pay out for two weeks. Now, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, yeah. They look, so, so some of the part-time drivers are definitely going to make a lot more. And the full-time drivers are just like, what the heck? Sitting out there with their hands out like, please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I, and I'm sure they're probably going to dwindle it down a little bit more and a little bit more and say, oh, we've expanded to everybody. And we're just going to pay everybody $25. If you're an active driver, here you go, $25 for your sick pay. And then soon it'll be ride credits. <laughs> yeah, right. Here, we're going, to give you, we're going to give you ride credits, but they expire by the end of the month. So you make sure you use them. <laughs> oh, but everything's closed still. So sorry. Yeah. Not our fault. <laughs> Oh man. All right. Well, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for, uh, you know, coming on and let's kind of talk about this. So, um, yeah, man, always, it's always great to uh, try to get someone else's perspective, especially when I can't wrap my brain around, like you were saying, <laughs> the math of things. So it's, it's good to know that anybody else out there with the half a brain knows exactly what's going on. We're not, we're not, it's not a raise. It's not an increase. Every time they say they're going to do something good, most of the time it ends up being bad for the drivers, but good for them. Yeah. And drivers, anybody who's uh, watching this comment below with your thoughts on this whole thing. What do you think? Do you think it's pretty crazy that uh, California and the pretty much the rest of the country and world essentially have all these different rules going on? Um, and then also the whole thing with the sick pay when they adjust things comment below, let us know. And Dustin, if you want to do the sign off, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> all right man i appreciate that all right guys please as always check the description below for extra information and tips make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that little bell notification that way you'll know when we come out with videos and until next time guys please be safe try to get whatever money you can and as always get paid or don't